everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be on how I highlight and contour, not this whole makeup look, just the highlighting contour situation. Um, I did one a long time ago, like back when I first started my channel, so I thought that I would do another one. So that is what I'm doing today, and if you're wondering why my makeup looks exactly the same as my last video, that's because it is. It is literally the exact same makeup. I filmed both of these in the same day, so if you were wondering, that is why. And if you want to see how I highlight and contour, then just keep watching. Okay, so I already did my primer and foundation, and I will list what I used down below. And now I'm going in with concealer. This is going to be the beginning of the highlighting process. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this one is in the shade Creamy Beige. And when you are doing a highlight, you want to use a concealer, depending on how dramatic you want it, Either, like, if you want to do, like, a normal highlight, then I would say go a couple shades lighter than your natural skin tone. If you want to be more dramatic and have, like, a brighter highlight, then I would say, like, three or four shades. And if you are, like, very pale, um, where you can't really find one light enough, I would get the lightest that you can and then mix in a little bit of white. They're coming out. A lot of brands have the white concealers now and just mix in a little bit of that. So this is what I am going to use today, and when you highlight, I'm not talking highlight like the bright shimmery stuff on your cheekbones, I'm talking bringing lightness to the center of your face, because when you do foundation, you kind of make your face one dimensional, so you have to bring the dimension back. So I'm going to start off with the under eye area, and what you want to do is make like a triangle type shape, like so. You can see it looks like a triangle. And people do this um, differently depending on their face shape. Some people stop it like right here because they don't want their face to look any um, wider. Some people take it out all the way to their temples. Some people, if their face is more round, you can bring it down further to kind of draw the face this way so it looks more oval. So that is completely up to you based on your face shape, but this is going to brighten and lift the eye. You want to do this shape as opposed to like the half moon. Okay, so my camera was nice enough to stop recording on me and it took me a minute to realize it, but I was saying as opposed to just the half moon because it just actually makes it worse. So doing this triangle shape really helps to brighten and lift the under eye. And then I had also ran some over my lids just because the skin on your lids is so thin. You can really see like all the veins and some like redness and discoloration. And then to even out the highlight so it's not just bright underneath the eyes, I take it down the center of my face, so in the center of my forehead right here, in between my brows, down my nose, a little bit on my chin, my cupid's bow, and a little bit around my nostrils just because that's where women tend to get hormonally red. And then I'm going to blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. And I just prefer this for my concealer just because it's easy to get up under my eyes and I feel like it just blends it out the best. I feel like when I use a brush it just doesn't give me as smooth of a finish so I just pat it into the skin. Don't like rub and wipe. Just pat it in. So then you want to set the concealer so that it doesn't crease and I am using the RCMA No Color Powder, any translucent powder you have, and I'm going to bake. And by bake, I just mean use an excess of powder and let it sit for a few minutes. It's just going to really soak up the concealer and make it last longer and not crease. So I'm just taking my same beauty blender with quite a bit of that powder, and I'm mostly going to bake right underneath my eyes just because that's where most of the creasing can happen. And then I'll just take a little bit down the center. Like I said, I'm not really baking this so much as just setting it. And then, of course, don't forget your lids because those can definitely crease. Okay, so while that bakes, I'm going to set the rest of my face. And this is just the air spun powder. You can use any face powder you want. I know not everyone sets their whole face. I just prefer to, so that is totally up to you.
Okay, so while that continues to bake, I'm going to go in and start the bronzing contouring process. So I'm going to start with this right here. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer, and it doesn't really matter whether you bronze and contour or contour then bronze. I've seen it done both ways, but the difference usually is that a bronzer is more of a warm tone like this. So it's got more like the orangey undertones to it. It's going to add more warmth back into the skin as opposed to a contour color, which is more a cool tone like this. So it's going to create more of a shadow. So I'm going to start with the bronzer first. And I'm just going to swirl my brush in, tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to hit around the perimeter of my face. And with bronzer, um, it's like the, I don't know if you've ever heard of the E3 it just kind of helps you remember where to put it. So on one side of your face, it forms an E, and on the other side, it is a three. So I just go, like start in the middle, right at the hairline, and go along the sides of my forehead, down over my temples, and then bring it in across my cheeks, and then back and down along my jawline. And then I also bring it a little bit down my neck just to give that a little bit of color. So as you can see already, just the bronzer, it adds so much color and life back into your face. And you can also do the bronzing contouring with creams as well first. I usually don't, um, but if you have like some special event or you want it to last for a really, really long time, using a cream before a powder will definitely do that. So um, just you can use a darker concealer or darker foundation and do the same type of thing. Okay, so bronzer is done and now I'm going to go in with the contour and a smaller brush. And where you contour is kind of up to you. Some people like to contour their nose, some people don't, some like to do their jawline or their chin. That's totally up to you. I usually just do like my cheeks and a little bit along my nose and you can also do a little bit under your lip just to make it look more full but I'm going to start with my cheeks and you are going to apply it into the hollow of your cheek and if you don't know where your hollow is you should be able to feel your cheekbone and wherever it ends like where it dips in that's where the hollow is and like you can kind of roll your brush and feel it like drop off and usually it goes from like the top of your ear down to the corner of your mouth so I just start back at the hairline and kind of draw it in towards the corner of my mouth but I'm not taking it all the way in just about like that far maybe halfway and then kind of flick it up just to blend it into that bronzer a little bit and then you can see the shadow that it creates just makes your cheekbones kind of pop and stick out a little more that's why you want the cooler tone because it's more of a realistic shadow color so I'm just going to do that again on this side. And then I'll just run a little bit down these sides of my nose. And a little bit under my lip. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush away that excess powder under my eyes. It's been baking long enough. And then I'm going to bake again, but I'm going to bake underneath my contour. And this is what's going to give it a lot more sharpness and structure. So just taking that same translucent powder on my beauty blender. You could also use a um, flat brush like this. And I'm just going to run it underneath my contour just to make a nice sharp line. Okay, so now the under eyes are set, but I want to add some more brightness to them. So I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm just going to use this shade in the middle. It's just a yellow, and it's going to add a lot of brightness. You can use any yellow or um, like peachy. Even the peach next to it would work, especially if you have darker skin. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes.
And again, if you have like um, lighter skin, I don't know that I would recommend like a yellow powder. It might not look quite right. You could use something like um, MAC Pro Emphasize. It's just a very brightening um, under eye powder. There's also this one in the palette that's just more of a skin tone. If my camera will focus on it. Um, but I don't think that it's quite as brightening. It's not nearly as light as like the MAC Pro Emphasize. So if you have a lighter skin tone, you might want to use a different shade. I'm also going to put a little bit down the center. Okay, so while the contour finish is baking, I might as well go ahead and do my blush and my actual highlight. So I'm just going to use this Milani blush in the shade Luminoso. And I'm just going to kind of run it over where I put the bronzer. And where people put their blush kind of varies by preference too. Some people like it more up front towards the apples. Some like it back more towards the hairline. I kind of do it kind of from here back. So again, that's just personal preference and your face shape. So then for an actual shimmery highlight, this one's from ColourPop, I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones where the light would naturally hit your face. Start there and then kind of bring it a little bit in towards the apple of my cheeks and then kind of up towards my temple. Like that. And then I'll also do a little bit on my cupid's bow and also down the center of my nose. So now this bake has been sitting for a few minutes, so I'm just going to go in and brush it away and it just really sharpens that line. Okay, so that is all for my highlighting and contouring. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all of my makeup done and I don't do all of that on a daily basis, but when I do that is what I do. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!